Hello, this is Anari. I am back with another Temu washer review. A lot of persons from the last video that I did said that the video was not detailed. I'm here to actually give a full in-depth video of the whole process. So I've had this washer for probably four or five months and it's still working. So on the site, it's listed for like 40 or $50 or something like that. But if it's your first time ordering on the site, you can get it for as low as five forty something. I even see some people saying they get it for $3 something. So depends, I guess, on which code you use and whose discount you use. I will, again, leave mine in the description below. So you get the washer with the lid that doesn't like clip or anything. It's just like put it on and off right this is the machine in its folded state i'm going to push it out for you to show i only have one hand because i'm holding the camera with the other all right this is the basket that's supposed to be the spinning basket that you would basically clip on and match the pattern here and whatever when it's time to rinse i'm going to show you guys and it, if your machine came with it inside you really just have to put a little force and clip it out i see some people saying that they don't know how to take out the basket and then it comes with a charger all right i'm going to try and pull it up remember i only have one hand that's why this part is not so good but you like hold the middle down and pull it up all right sorry about that but that's basically how it's done right you can't connect it to your pipe or anything so you have to catch it either at your sink for me i don't think i usually bring it to my tub all right now i have some water in here i really just fill it up to probably like the gray line inside or whatever so now i'm gonna plug it in i know i'm this time i'm really showing you guys everything because the last time i wasn't so detailed and you guys were on me like why would you post a video and not show the whole process or whatever it's not thorough enough okay and i'm going to talk to you guys about the sides as well because i really don't want to deceive anyone into thinking that it's bigger than it is or it can hold more than it can hold this is a side you plug it you just literally just you hear that so it just went beep the minute you plug it in right this is where the stopper is so when you're catching it up make sure this is closed and everything i don't know if you guys can see this well but these are the buttons right so you have the one standard washing five minute cycle yeah the soft washing for 10 minutes and then you have the drain for two minutes which is when you would put the spin basket in i'm going to tell you about the spin basket when i get to it okay so today i'm washing my leggings which is a bit thick right i'm washing a pair of sleep shorts and i'm washing a shirt right all right so for this i'm going to do the 10 minute ac it started instantly and yes i'm putting a lot of stuff it's just me i like to see my stuff lather so now i'm adding my shorts my leggings And my shirt all right I set them in there so that's about it for the size I hope this gives you guys a good idea so if you have like jeans I see people asking if you can wash jeans probably one at a time depending on the size all right and then finally I'll just close it to stop any splashing or whatever that's where the lid comes in it's not rocking or anything it's sitting on its own it has some suction things on the bottom to make it stick to the counter so that's why it's not really shaking like that all right the 10 minutes are up and i wasn't able to record it but the machine makes a beep this is where you come right here and this is where i would just drain the water out and just wait when it's finished draining of course there's water in these so i personally just squeeze them out and everything all right so i got fresh water i'm gonna add a little bit of softener and i'm going to rinse it all right so the rinse cycle is over so now i want to do the spinning i generally skip this step because i feel like it's not really 
worth it but that's just how you put it in i'm showing this especially because people mentioned that i never said or did anything about the spin basket as you can tell it's really small it can barely hold the mass of clothes that i actually had in the washer you probably see it shake a bit more than any other time is this process worth it if i take this all right so basically to do the spin it really worked with the shirt and the small shorts and it didn't work with this which to me that's why i usually just don't use it because might as well i just squeeze it with my hand it to me that part just make it take up more time now let me give you guys my final review tell you guys if this washer is worth it now it depends on what you're going to use it for the time it takes to use this i don't think it's worth it when i actually bought this it was out of curiosity because i actually have a washer and dryer installed i think this is worth it if let's say you're a female and you don't want to mess up your manicure by like hand washing or you don't want to go through the whole process of going to the laundromat and you probably need this shirt by tomorrow but you're you know so you do it like that or one great way i feel like it could be really useful is let's say you're washing your beauty blenders or you know your little makeup things where you don't want to put it in your actual washing machine where you put your other clothes and socks and stuff for example i have my reusable cut rounds because i use this on my face and stuff i wouldn't necessarily want to use it in the same machine i wash my socks and stuff like that you could purchase this and say okay i'm going to wash my face towels and stuff like that that's a great way you could use this but if you're saying that you don't have a washer and dryer in your unit i don't think that this is big enough it would be more worth it if it was able to connect to a pipe where i don't have to keep coming in between washes and stuff i think it takes more time to wash two items of clothes might as well you just wash it with your hands so now what i have to recommend is if you go on amazon or go to home depot they have portable washing machines like half the size of a regular washer and it costs like 200 to four hundred dollars when i was buying it years ago when i was in an apartment without a washer and dryer unit it cost me like 180 something then i don't know if the demand went up for it so it went up to like 300 400 dollars now i'm going to leave the link to it below the link i leave is just for you to take a look at it and shop around look at different prices and stuff but i feel like it would be way more worth it than this and they can hold a lot more they can hold like a full sheet set hold multiple items of clothing just not as much as a regular washer would but definitely it was so convenient because now i never had to go to a laundromat anymore i could connect it to my water supply i would just start the machine and it would collect its water run all the cycles do all the spins and the only thing i would have to do is come back and hang the clothes on a drying rack i think you guys should check that out before to me this is more like a toy than anything unless you really do see a purpose in which it can hold some sort of value i hope i'm making sense thank you so much for watching this video you guys cannot say that i'm not detailed this time i told you guys everything so like and subscribe to my channel and go check out my other content my other content has nothing to do with washers i mean you might like something over there and yeah bye